Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting doing to episode 10 of season 3 of Yuki and Nancy Heroes. So let's gotta get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, we ain't getting an opening today. Let's hope so. <laughs> Since we're focusing on them, will we possibly see Yuna? And um, I mean, well, technically, no. Last week we saw her where she was, and the rest of the girls. So. Gotta feel bad for just everyone who just sees this right now. Wouldn't that be the symbol that's on Yuna right now? Yeah. God, that's just so terrifying.
Oh god, they're coming. God, there's so many of them. Jesus. We hope because I, I don't know. I feel like something worse is about their crime. Like the, we we already at the storm, correct? But something else is coming, and it's just gonna be like too much for everybody. Oh, they even made her Mankai even. So they really did a lot of 3DS because, like, mm, I'm still not the biggest fan of it, but it's okay. No, get to you now. Because it seems like the only way, Washi is the only one who can save Yuna. Um, so is she now dead? Because, girl, mm-mm. Ooh, sacrificing my life for this, mm-mm. I 
But you might not. Oh, God. Oh, God. You're not going to make it in time. <laughs> no. Oh, God. I mean, that's smart, though. Yeah, but y'all gonna walk? What, well, really, you're gonna run. But seriously, <laughs> oh my... You would show that flower. It's just like big old clear people dying today. There's another one and another. Oh, mm mm. This is stressful. This is so fucking stressful. God, everybody is vanishing. Is there anything else she can do, though? Oh, God.
Everyone will be saved, man. But you know, we'll die. Yes, you can. Y'all haven't made it there yet. Oh my god. You're screwed. You're screwed. We're screwed. Exactly. That's what I want to know. Oh, God.
I don't even know if this is supposed to happen, but oh. And of course, you go in like that. Of course. Okay. There, this, yeah. Mm -hmm. this is the sh most stressful episode, okay? Everything. Even though I was calm, cool, and collected inside, I was in, mm -hmm, internally trimming the whole entire time. The whole entire time. Okay. So with Sonochi, so Sonochi, Karin, Ibuki, and we can kind of say now Mebu and everybody else, are they now considerably dead or are they just frozen in time while Yuna, Togo and Fu, they're okay because of course at the end of the day still Togo is the only one who can save uh, Yuna so I, I don't know that's what I'm a little confused about right now because you had the the eternal flyer uh, fire ooh, I can't speak coming towards the bird Mibuki's looking at it and you're thinking or I'm sitting here thinking like okay is the bird gonna like literally get caught on fire and die or is everybody now like frozen in time quote unquote safe up until Yuna officially dies and then boom everybody's okay but I'm guessing what's gonna happen is in next week of course <laughs> Togo and Yuna, they're going to talk this out. And she's going to be like, no, I want to save you. And Yuna's going to be like, this is the only way. Yada, yada, yada. I don't know. <sighs> okay. So it makes you wonder, like, the, all right, so the people who are all talking, I'm guessing it's every person who was sacrificed in the divine tree. So it's the divine tree itself, but the voices of everyone who's, of, of course, sacrificed. Sacrifice. It's kind of like the um, the Holy Grail for, like, the Fate series or the Persona series and such. And it's almost, in a way, the will of the people who are all sacrificed, just speaking at a tone against both Yuna and Togo. But, oh God, it's like, there, there was a moment, especially like towards the end, when Sonochi and Karin were able to pierce um, the fire and everything. Itsuki was nowhere to be found. So where the fuck was Itsuki? Itsuki hurt? There's still, there's so many unanswered questions with this. And going into next week, and I'm guessing, like, I think we got, like, what, two more weeks with this show before it's done? Um, who knows how the fuck this is gonna end? And then you feel bad for like Mibuki and Aya, especially Aya, because at first Aya was like, you know, I I loved living my time as you know her name and stuff as Aya, and you're and you're like, damn, you're really just gonna sacrifice yourself after everything you've been through with Mibuki and, and everyone else, and you've made friends along this way. And that, you know, this is truly a depressing, despair, um, heart, <laughs> heart crushing, heart pounding, gushing, whatever moment for these girls. And it's like when it's, it's basically the end of the world and you are at a point where what do you do? You 
do you continue and fight for what's right and to make the world a better place or do you just give up and you hope that the next set of people after the world has been set anew are able to change things that we weren't able to do ourselves when they were alive it, like I said it's still a lot of unanswered questions and such but it makes you wonder what is Yuna gonna do is she officially sacrificing herself is Togo gonna be able to stop her in time because like I mean yeah they had a, a straight shot to get there but because of reasons now she on foot and I'm over here I'm like yeah you can't even use your man Kai anymore because you know one and done <laughs> for now you know you gotta let that thing boat back up and such um I was expecting kind of Fu to use hers. Like, everybody used theirs except Fu. Yes, Fu brought out a big behind sword like she always does. But maybe in the last little bit when she brought the sword down, maybe that was her using her Mankai. Um, Because it's been a long time since I've seen chapter heroes, so maybe I'll go back and look. But I'm just, I'm really truly scared about how the fuck this is going to end. Maybe, like, kind of what I'm hoping is since, you know, we had the two Yunas make an appearance together. Um, and as I found out, what, last Friday, that there are five, five Yunas? Are all the Yunas going to make an appearance by these last two episodes or three episodes? I mean, that would be nice. And ish, I mean, I'm just saying. I, I just, I need this show to end on a happy note. I don't want to, I don't want to be sad these next two weeks, so... That's all. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episode 10 of season 3 of Yuki Yuna is a Hero. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Friday for episode 11. Bye, guys!